All right, when we get to a thousand subscribers, I'm going to sell this car to one of them for a dollar. Hi, Holt Keegan, the vlog here. Welcome back to a very special episode of TR3 Wrench Time. And yes, you heard me correctly. I'm going to sell this car for one dollar to a subscriber of the channel in a live stream event. In fact, it will be the first live stream event because there is a catch. There's always a catch. This is the big shameless ploy push to get to the YouTube Partner Program, and we need 1,000 subscribers. As of recording right now, we are less than 100 subscribers away from that mark, so I'll put some data up on the screen to show you where we are. As soon as we reach that 1,000 mark, we will be get, applying for the Partner Program, and as soon as we are accepted, we will be conducting a live event, a live stream episode of TR3 Wrench Time to give this car away for one dollar to a lucky subscriber. So this is the shameless ploy to get over that mark. So please help out, like, subscribe, tell your friends TR3 Wrench Time. Yay! Uh, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about this car, why I have it. Nostalgia is obviously the reason why I have it. Uh, but I'll give you the history and, uh, and we'll go from there. Um, let's get into it. In 1995, this guy was driving around Louisville, Kentucky in this car, a 1988 Volkswagen Jetta, strato blue metallic, completely base except for the sunroof. And back then I was a company man, so I had a Vanagon. This was the first band vehicle. It was a 1984 water boxer. That got us to back and forth to a few shows. Okay, uh, then we upgraded to a Synchro, and man, I wish I had this one back, a 1987 Synchro. Shout out to Full Moon Jam Garrett there. Flash forward almost 30 years, and uh, well, I still have an 80s car problem. And as you can see, there's something familiar there in the collection. In 1991, Claude bought this 1989 Jetta at auction for his daughter. When she went to college and couldn't take the car with her, it became his. At the time, he was a colonel in the United States Air Force. He drove this car every day. In 2002, he retired as a major general and accepted the appointment as Assistant Secretary of the Army for Acquisition, Logistics, and Technology. He drove this 1.6 liter normally aspirated diesel that produced 58 horsepower when it was new for the rest of his career and his life. He passed away in July of 2015. Claude clearly loved this car. He took very good care of it and kept meticulous notes, all of which are staying with the car along with his picture. As with many of the cars featured on this channel, my friend Patrick was the one who found it for sale on Craigslist. It was listed for $728, which I found out later was the date of Claude's passing. The family asked me what the heck I was going to do with this car, and I told them I wanted to restore it and put it back on the road. They had plenty of people ready to buy it. They said they sold it to me because they really believed I was going to restore it. That's what I did. So here's the car as it sits today in 2021. The restoration was complete in 2018, and it has been my primary car since then. It was in episode one of TR3 Wrench Time when I went to Louisville to get the TR3, which is the primary subject of this channel. The car has taken me to Oshkosh, Chicago, Louisville, Indianapolis, Durham, Philadelphia, Pinehurst, some of those more than once. Most recently, though, it is doing for me what it did for Claude, taking me from home to work and back every day. And for me, that's quite a journey these days, from Annapolis, Maryland to Quantico, Virginia, 70 miles one way. So the diesel getting about 50 miles to the gallon is pretty economical for that. The diesels don't have much to claim as better than the gasser version, but getting this wet was often problematic for the petrol version of this generation. Doesn't bother the diesel a bit. Daily driving a 32-year-old car is not for everybody. I typically have this car up in the air every other weekend, checking things over and fixing little things, like CV boots, power steering bellows, the shocks, uh, the seat adjustment mechanism. Don't ask. Diesels are especially sensitive to oil degradation, so I'm doing oil changes every 3,000 miles, and that goes by in about five to six weeks these days. Lots of other maintenance items you have to do to these old cars to keep them from leaking oil all over the place. So I've, I've done the front, 
Side of the engine reseal, new timing belt, water pump, all of that jazz is done on this car. So that doesn't have to be done anytime soon. Uh, if you'd like to check out the video on that, that was actually, I think, maybe the second or third video posted on this channel. So if you want to watch that happen, that's available, and I'll link to it in the description. Okay, not much in the way of modifications on this car. I tried to keep it as original as possible. The diesel injection pump has been upgraded to the Giles pump. If you're watching this video, you probably know all about the Giles upgrade. I will put a link in the description to his website and also to the video where I changed out the IP. It does make a pretty big difference for the performance, but this is still a very, very, very slow car. It's just a little bit faster off the line now, maybe has a little bit more top end, and it puts out quite a bit more smoke uh, with the setup I'm running now. This was a fun project. It brought back lots of good memories and created lots of good new ones. These cars are great fun to drive, even being one of the slowest cars I've ever driven. I still put a smile on my face. The car has such a great story too. I'm sad to let it go, but I do have space limitations and now time limitations. I want to see it go to an enthusiast and maybe somebody who will do a TDI swap. This car would be pretty cool with a TDI for sure. Okay, YouTube, all you have to do is help me get that last 100 subscribers so we can have the live streaming event and get this car to the lucky subscriber for $1. Like, subscribe, comment, ring the bell, send out carrier pigeons, smoke signals, or anything else you can think of. And as always, thanks for watching.